Hello. Um, I'm kind of crooked, but uh, I already put the camera in the position that we need, so sorry. Welcome to uh, Message from the Mountain Part 3. Um, uh, at the solo section now, after the third chorus, and I uh, added some new chords, um, F sharp minor, E major, A over C sharp, and D major, pretty simple, but I'm gonna play a little arpeggio on the piano to make them kind of nice. So that's gonna look like this. Um, for the F sharp minor, we're going, um, which will make it uh, nine. And then we're doing a nine for the E major. Then A major as an major seven nine. And then D as a D major. Nine. So I have no idea if I can pull this off. Let's see. Pretty nasty playing there, not so good, but now we're gonna go and fix it. Right there. We're gonna do this, we're gonna click on this. And what did I do? I did eighth notes, right? So we're gonna go and quantize it. For those of you who don't know what quantizing is, right now all I have is not actually an audio recording, I have a MIDI recording. Um, and right here says 16th notes. We're gonna go and put that on 8th notes. And I'm going to tell it, please move them as close as possible to the 8th notes that are there. Bang! That's wrong. Yeah. Fixing it. A little bit quiet. We gotta move that up. Not missing. And that is how we play a piano part in context. Actually, what I would probably do is That's fully wrong. Cool. 
Cool. So now we need A over C sharp. Can do third here. So in that rhythm that I just, I don't know, heard in my head or randomly moved, I have no idea, I can't really tell you, we're going to support in the drums and bang it looks like we have a cool arrangement. So what was that? Okay, so... Going on 16th notes, gotta get a little bit busier. There we go. Um, we have an, a rhythmic idea for the uh, solo, which I now can support with the um, with the rhythm guitar, and also possibly with the, the solo melody, if I know what I'm doing. So we'll see. I move on. See you in a bit. Hi. Um, I'm done with the solo section and uh, I added a nice um, progression at the end, which is uh, pretty much just a. Uh, four, five, flat six, flat seven progression. No, that's wrong. And then five with third in the bass. Going to the one. Um, I'm playing around with the uh, love pedal silicone fuzz, which is actually a nice sound. So. Um, I might actually use that on the final recording, but we'll see. I'll just show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna just track a rough track, which will be replaced, of course. This is going to be the solo section. Hi, I uh, just uh, finished the outro, which is pretty much the uh, interlude or the post chorus, the thing that's coming after the chorus, a couple of times and then with a couple of stops. And I'm thinking at the second time I'll bring in a melody, which I think will also be featured somewhere in the middle. Very simple, I just let myself be inspired by the chords that were there. Um, and uh, the chords are. Oh, 
chords are actually coming out of the old piano part which are now straightened. So it is a little bit of an odd thing, but not really because it's now over 4-4, just different uh, emphasis. So um, I'm really starting to like this silicone fuzz from Love Pedal. This is a product placement. Okay, we have the silicone fuzz from Love Pedal, which seriously, actually, very nice, very singing for the uh, melody I need there. I'm gonna put this down, crank up the gain here, leave this tone knob, which funny enough is boosting the high on the left side of it, and we're gonna play this. simple melody but this is what this shit's all about simplifying what was once very complicated um, okay I'll give it a whirl Probably not the final take, but you get the general idea. So this is what we're doing in the uh, as the outro. Hi. And now I'm gonna. Uh, I was just noodling around with the solo a bit. It's um, I'm gonna show you what I, the kind of stuff I played. It's not gonna be the final solo. It's just a placeholder. Um, I was playing with the Love Pedal Super Lead. Very nice, full stack sound. Lots of gain, lots of singing notes. Really beautiful. Uh, going into the PRSSE. 20 amp right above my finger there. Very nice clean tone. And um, yeah, I'll just record something. This is the uh, PRS Swamp Ash Special with Narrow Fields. And this is the sound. <laughs> pretty much my session for today. I've got to go. Got things to do. Girlfriends to see. <laughs>